Sekejap eh. Saya record kelas ni eh. Okay. Alright. Okay. Assalamualaikum and welcome back to Dynamics ECS 429. We are now at week 4 eh. Okay. So your test 1 will be at week 8. Okay. That will be very soon. Another 4 weeks. So I hope you all uh, have started apa? doing some tutorials and revision and studying yeah okay because uh, dynamics requires a lot of apa, practice okay all right so today is week four so today we are going to do uh we're going to study curvilinear motion of particles okay oops okay so please take out your your uh, book and your pens and your calculator okay and copy uh this yeah Okay, curvilinear motion of particles. Okay, now, so today we are going to focus on curvilinear motion of particles. Okay, so previously in your, in our previous class, we have only focused on rectilinear motion. Okay, now we're going to focus on curvilinear motion. Okay, so on, when we focus, uh, when we're studying curvilinear motion, um uh, uh, our 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 uh, the course outcome is the same in the end we are going to uh, focus in trying to find uh what we want to do is we want to find oops so to okay we want to find what is the position what is the uh, velocity and what is the acceleration okay the same thing, the same thing, what we want to find, okay? But now we're going to focus on curvilinear. So when we're doing curvilinear, the, the method of solving the problem is a bit different compared to rectilinear, okay? So when you get a question, it's very important, okay, for you to differentiate, this is a rectilinear question, this is a curvilinear question. So how to differentiate is, we must understand what is a curvilinear motion. Okay, so a curvilinear motion is when a particle moves along a curve, okay, other than a, a straight line, okay? So when a particle moves along a curve other than a straight line, this is what we define as curvilinear motion, okay? So basically, uh, the particle moves along a curve path, okay? So sometimes, uh, what we do is, uh, to explain better about this curvilinear motion, we like to explain the path of the curve in a three dimension. When we talk about three dimension, it means you will have a, a x, y, and z lah. Okay, there are some things uh, similar like vector analysis. In uh, static, you learn about vector analysis, did you? Ada tak belajar vector in static? Ada tak? Ada. Ada. Okay. So you should be very familiar. Okay. So basically, uh, what we do is, what we want to do is, we want to formulate the particle's position, the particle's velocity, and the particle's acceleration. Okay. So what we're going to do is, we're going to understand about curvilinear motion lah. Okay. All right. So. Now, in order to do this, the best way is for us to draw the the axis of the x, y, z coordinate lah, so that we can understand better lah. So now I'm going to draw the x and y and z coordinate system lah. Okay. okay. So what I do is I'll draw the x and y coordinate system so everybody can uh, must copy. So we have the y, okay. Okay, so let's assume this is our z. Let's assume this is our x and this is our y. And let's assume there is a particle 
moving in along a curved path. So let's say this is our particle is here and then it's moving to a different position. Let's say our particle, uh, the first position is P and then the next position is P prime. Okay, so the position, we define it uh, from the point of the axis. Let's say this is axis 0, 0, 0. So this will be R and this will be R prime. Okay, so the change in position between R and R prime, the change in position is delta R equals to R prime minus R. Okay, now you must be thinking, okay, why now the change in position is a symbol R? Okay, because we're doing it in 3D right now. So we define the change in position in R. I know previously um, when we studied the rectilinear motion, uh, the R is uh, well, the, the change in position. Sometimes we use uh, S, right? Okay, but we can also use R. Okay, so don't get too confused. Okay, all right. So, because now we are considering in vector, okay. So, when you're considering a vector, okay, are you are you guys okay? Can I continue? Because you're okay. quite, you're quite quiet. I I'm worried that uh, you must be sleeping. I hope you're not sleeping in my class, eh? Okay. okay. So, when you put it in a vector form, it'll be x i plus y j plus z k. Okay. All right. All right, you understand that, eh? Okay. And then when you want to find the velocity, it will be V equals to dr over dt. And that, what would that be? That will be dxi over dt plus dyj over dt plus dz upper, uh, k over dt. And our velocity will be equal to the same as uh, Vx i dt plus, oh, sorry, Vyi over dt plus, oops, Vz j, eh, j, k over dt. Okay. Okay, all right, I'm just showing it in terms of velocity. Lah. And then again, uh, these are what you call the velocity components. Lah. Okay. And then what you can do is you can also find the acceleration. So for the acceleration, it will be dv over dt. You're familiar with that, right? Or sometimes people use d squared over v over dt squared. So it will be dv. Ah, sorry, dv. Blah. It will be a x i over dt plus a y j over dt plus a z k over dt. And these are what you call the acceleration component okay good okay all right okay don't worry uh, uh this topic is easy okay just bear with me we're gonna do an example so you will understand uh better okay, so. okay are you copying guys yes, yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. Okay. So, um, okay. So, uh, when you have a curve line, Jenny, so the position of a particle with respect to apa, uh, the origin. Oops. No. So this is R, the position, eh? Okay. All right. Okay. So this is, uh, so here you can see uh, a picture of a particle located at a point on a curved surface. Okay. All right. And the position of the particle is what you call uh, measured from point O here in the diagram. 
So uh, the position vector is R lah. Okay. Alright. You nampak R tu kan? Uh, okay. And then uh, that is for position. Velocity pula, dia must, must be tangent to the path. So when you draw tangent to the path, dia kena macam ni. Uh, v. You need to practice how to draw tangent to the path. If you have another particle, dia macam ni. The velocity. Tangent to the path macam ni. Ah, okay, this, so velocity is what you call, velocity is tangent to the path. Okay, you need to be able to understand how to draw lah. Okay, alright, so that the velocity is tangent to the path. Okay, alright, and then uh, acceleration pula macam mana? Okay, acceleration pula then is not, uh, apa, dia bukan tangent to the path lah. Dia usually, they call it apa, uh, they act apa, tangent to the hodograph. Okay, so kalau kan selalunya uh, apa, acceleration dia, okay, uh, in a different diagram lah. Okay. Dia macam tu. Acceleration. Uh, okay, tapi tak apa, don't worry. Uh, we will do uh, a lot of practice and then you will understand how to draw it properly lah. Tapi you will you will understand that if you want to get R, R akan jadi XI plus YJ plus ZK. You nak dapatkan V, V adalah VXI plus VYJ plus VZK. And then you nak dapatkan acceleration pula, dia adalah AXI plus AYJ plus A ZK. Okay, ni dalam apa vector coordinate system lah. Okay, alright. So, don't worry. Now, kita nak buat uh, a question that is related to this kind of topic lah. Okay, alright. Uh, okay, can I continue? Yes, madam. Boleh eh? Okay, alright. Okay. Uh, okay. Now we're going to do one question. Eh? Oops. Okay. An object travels from the origin along a curved path if it's horizon velocity is Vx equals to 80 meter per second where T is in seconds Determine okay, the magnitude of its velocity acceleration and distance from the Origin at t equals to two seconds. Okay, this is the question. Okay, I'm gonna draw the diagram, but I'm just doing it in two D. Eh? Y equals to one over four x t over two. This is y axis, and this is x axis. This is zero. Mm. Okay. So, me velocity lah. Tangent to the Okay, dah salin. Bagi tahu saya kalau dah salin. We copy first. Tell me. Uh, Um, Harry Kana dah masuk dah? Harry 
Harry Kana ada? Kat message ni dia kata dia terlef. Ada, dah ada. Tapi mungkin oh. mic dia rosak kot tak ada. Oh, okay. Okay dah, okay. Now, okay here we have an object. They travels uh, from the origin. So, dia kata dia travel from the origin. So, this is origin lah. Okay, origin eh. Travels from origin along a curve path. So, bila dia sebut ni curve path ni, kita dah tahulah. Ni adalah topik curvy linear lah. Okay. Uh, and its horizon velocity is Vx. So, ni adalah velocity dia lah. So, kita tahu kita ada information velocity dia dalam sebutan T. Okay. Alright. Tapi dia Vx. Where T is in seconds. Okay. Determine the magnitude of its velocity. So, it wants the magnitude of the velocity. It wants the acceleration and the distance from the origin R. So, dia nak R. So these are the things, three things that it wants, but it has informed us that T is equals to two seconds. So now, how are we going to solve this question based on this information given? Oh, and we also know why. Y is one over four X three over two. Okay, how are we going to solve this question? Now, so since we, we know it wants V, A, R, N, A, V, A and R, and we, we know that it wants the magnitude. Okay, let's start with R first. Okay, R is equal to X, I plus Y, J. Okay, do you have the X and Y? Do you have X? Do you have the position of X? It. It. How did you get it? Mm. These are all the only information we have The one that I am circling here So do you have the X information? X We need to find X We need to find Y Okay, do you have X? Okay, X is a position Okay, remember I told you to find To find position And then velocity And then acceleration Now, do we have the velocity in x? Do we have the velocity yes. in x direction? So do you yes. think you I can don't. find the position? Yes. How? Uh, integrate. Yes. What are you going to integrate? Vx. Am I right? Yes. Okay. So please integrate Vx and tell me what you get. So we know that Vx equals to 8 meter per second and Vx is equals to Dx over Dt. So when you integrate that, what would you get? So you integrate at both sides, you, are, you will get x. So when you integrate 8t, what do you get? Come on, guys. Empat I just... dua. Yes. Empat T kuasa dua. So, you have the information of X. So, okay. So, X is 4 T kuasa dua I. Okay, now. What is Y? Do you have Y? Y you have, but it's in the function of what? X. So you need to replace x with what? What do you need to do? Yes, 4t squared. So please replace x with 4t squared. So what would you get y? Dapat apa? 
What you get? Kuasa tiga. Berapa? Oh, sorry. Berapa? What is it? Alhamdulillah. Hmm. What is it? T-T kuasa tiga ke? Salah. Wow. What is it? Lain, lain. This is simple maths eh. Please eh. Uh, kita, we in dynamics, we don't want uh, student to have apa, problems in uh, simple maths, okay? Dua T kuasa tiga. Okay, betul. Okay, that's correct. Oops. Okay, now do we know the T. What is T? What is our T value? Two seconds. Okay, so replace T with two seconds. What do you get? Sixteen. Tada. Is that correct? Yeah. Okay, so to get the magnitude of R, what you need to do to get the magnitude, you need to square root. 16 squared plus 16 squared. So that is the answer. So what is the magnitude? What is the answer? Dua puluh dua point enam tiga. Yes. Unit meter. Okay, good. Now, you have found R. Can you try to find velocity and acceleration? Can you do that? Now, to find V. So, what is V? V is Vxi plus Vyj. Okay, now. Do you have Vx? Yes. You have, what is it? 80, right? 80. Okay. Do you have, do you have VY? No. How are you going to find VY? Differentiate. Differentiate what? Differentiate what? Differentiate Y. Yeah. Yeah, so when you, when you differentiate Y, what do you get? 6 T kuasa 2. Yeah, so when you differentiate Y, you get 6 uh, T squared. Okay, good. So it needs 6 T squared. Okay, so what do you get? Don't forget to replace T with uh, 2 seconds. So you get... 16 i plus 24 j so what is the answer you need to uh, square root what is the answer Dua puluh lapan poin apa empat? Meter. Meter. Hah? Meter je? Eh, okay. Hah? Meter per second. Ah, second. ya Allah. Okay. Next, acceleration. Can you do the acceleration for me? So, what is the acceleration? How are you going to get that? How are you going to get AX? What do you need to do? You need to differentiate what? Differentiate VX. So, yes. you differentiate VX. What do you get?
How do you get? You fresh shit. Eight T dapat apa? Eight aja kan? Lapan. And then AY dapat apa? Dua belas. Dua what? T. Okay. And then? Okay, so what's the answer? What's the answer? Hello. Dua puluh lima point tiga m meter per second square. Okay, good. All right. Okay. So this is just uh uh the um, among the simplest question lah. So you can imagine there are other types of questions that is uh similar like this that you need to try lah. But uh, I will not uh continue with the other examples. But since you don't understand me. So you know sometimes you can differentiate, you can integrate, uh, but this one uses the basic kinematic equation lah, okay, the basic kinematic equation lah to solve the problem lah, okay, so this is one thing lah, so now we will continue with our next, uh, next uh, topic lah, okay, now for your information, uh, where we deal with uh, curvilinear motion, you will deal with questions that involve rectangular components okay and you will deal with questions that are non-rectangular components okay the idea that there is two things rectangular components and non-rectangular components the one that we did just now is um uh, dealing with rectangular components lah, okay, because we are putting it in the x and y and z position lah, okay, alright, so there is another one that we're going to do which is uh, involve uh, motion of projectile, okay, so non-rectangular components ni that we will not discuss today but we will discuss in uh, tomorrow's class maybe. Okay, so what you need to know is when you get a question on curvilinear, you must try to identify, okay, this is a curvilinear question because it's moving in a, the particle is moving in a curved path. But am I going to solve the question using a rectangular component or non-rectangular component? Okay, so you must understand that same like previously. Previously, I gave you questions that are related to uh, rectilinear motion, right? And then when you want to decide, you want to solve, you can either solve it using the basic kinematic equation or what? The question with constant acceleration, remember? You understand that, right? Betul tak? Am I right? Yes. Okay. Yes. So, so it's the same. Now, when you get questions related to curvy linear motion, you can decide. You, you look at the question. Oh, this question I am going to solve using rectangular components. Or this question I'm going to solve using non-rectangular components. Okay. So, um, uh, that is important. Okay. So, once you understand the difference, uh, I believe whatever question you get in dynamics, you know what to do. Because the difference between a student and uh, that can score is they know what to do. They know what to look, where to find, how to solve. Uh, they know the technique. Uh, regardless, the question is difficult or easy. Uh, it is, they can solve it easy because they know what to do. Okay? Because students who don't understand this, when they get a question, they don't know where to start. Uh, I do not want that situation to happen to you. Okay, so that's why I always highlight this. Okay, so now you know when you're dealing with curvilinear, there are two types, okay? So, 
Uh, now we're going to do the rectangular components. Eh? Okay, all right. So I'm going to continue with another example that is on rectangular components. Okay, all right. So can we do that? Yeah. Yes, madam. Okay, good. Okay, all right. Okay, don't... Uh, per, um, Please think uh, dynamics is a uh, subject yang fun and easy. Eh? Okay, it's easy if you understand the lesson plan, you understand what you need to find, understand what topic this question is, then everything will be easy. Okay? okay, now we're going to do another question that is on curvilinear, but uh, it's called motion of a projectile. Okay, please copy eh? So here we're still in uh, rectangular components. Okay, and we're still doing curvilinear. Okay, uh, two, two points. Okay, all right. So what is motion of projectile? Okay, copy it. Is the free flight motion of a projectile is often studied in terms of its rectangular Okay, now a good example is let's say we have, okay, let's say we have Harry here. Okay, so this is Harry, okay, and he's kicking a ball. Okay. So the ball is going to go and free flight motion lah going to go to this goal okay this is a goal goal lah what do you call it goal apa goal stand eh? goal stand okay so this is what you call an example of a free flight motion because this free free flight motion it has acceleration but due to due to gravity ah which also equals to negative 9.81 meter per second squared. Lah. Okay. <clears throat> so motion of a projector is the free flight motion. This is the free flight motion. Okay. So when you get a question that is a free flight motion, whereby something, a particle, is flying into the air, okay, and has uh, acceleration, that has constant downward acceleration, okay, at a constant downward acceleration, uh, to, due to gravity, negative 9.81 meter per second squared, ni, you, call, you can solve it using the rectangular components. Okay, can you give me other examples uh, that you know in real life situation that is similar to uh, this? Anyone? Nak bagi nama ke? You want me to call your name, sir? Other examples of a free flight motion. Amirul Hakimi. Yes. Amir, uh, give me another example of a free flight motion. Buah kelapa jatuh. Uh, buah kelapa jatuh tu... Dari pokok, dari pokok. But that one is um, not curvilinear. Oh. Uh, that one is rectilinear because this is the... Layang-layang boleh? -layang, ah, boleh. Ah, uh, pokok kelapa tu jatuh eh. Going down kan. It's, it's in a rectilinear. So no, no. Pokok kelapa tak. Okay. What is it? Layang-layang. Uh, okay, layang-layang, let's say, uh, okay, uh, a kite lah. Let's say you have a, a kite, a kite, so they're moving macam tu lah kan? This is the kite kan? Okay, kite, they're moving, ha. and then they change position. Uh, macam tu. Okay, a kite, 
Okay, it's moving in a curvilinear motion. Good, okay. So other examples. Um, um, okay, the kite is moving in a curvilinear motion. Tapi is, however, to me, it's still not a free flight motion. It's not... Uh, it's not moving due. Uh, it's not flying due, uh, and then going to another position due to gravity. Uh, so um, it's not suitable. Now, what what we're talking is a free flight motion. It's more like you're throwing something. Okay, give me an example like you throw something, or you're playing something and you're throwing something. It is a curvilinear because it's moving in a curvilinear motion, but it's not free flight motion. It's not this one. Ah. Okay, for example, you play basketball, you play badminton, you play golf. Ah. So all the particles are thrown into the air due to gravity. Okay? And it moves in a curvilinear motion. You throw something in the air. Ah, those are free flight motion. Understand? Okay. But this one, your kite ni, uh, is flying in the air. It's changed position, right? From one position here to the other position. Okay. But it's not due to, it's flying, it's not due to gravity. Okay. <laughs> Alhamdulillah. Okay. Okay. Understand that? Do you understand? Yes. Okay, so anything that is thrown up in the air, and uh, the uh, and uh, and the projectile is due to weight. So maybe, um, maybe due to weight caused by, uh, what do you call, uh, uh, uh downward acceleration. Uh, then only it's called a free flight motion. Okay, okay. That so that's an example. Okay. All right, okay, now, so in order to solve this question, we need to draw a very good coordinate system. So I need you to draw this very big in your, in your, in your uh, apa, uh, book lah. Don't draw small, eh? draw big. So we have the X and we have the Y, okay. So let's say we have a particle here. Okay, so this is the particle here and it goes to another position here. It's due to free flight motion. Eh? Okay, all right. Okay, now, so first uh, step is you need to create a rectangular coordinate system like this. So you have the X and you have the Y. Okay, good. Next, okay, as you notice, uh, this particle is not starting from the origin. This is the origin, right? It's starting at a certain height above here. So when it does not start at the origin, so you need to find its coordinate. Okay, so you need to write down what is this coordinate because sometimes, uh, let's say you're playing a basketball and you're throwing the ball. So the ball, the origin is, let's assume the origin is at your feet. So the ball is already has a height, right? So it, sometimes uh, the motion of the particle does not start at the origin. So you can, you have to imagine that. So for us to solve uh, questions that are related to rectangular components, so what we need to do is we need to write down the coordinate. So what is the coordinate for the first position? So this one will be from here, from here to here. This one, we, what we will call is we will call it x naught. So here to here, what do you think we will call it? Why not? No. Yes, why not? Good. Okay, so now the particle is here. All right, I'm circling dark, darker color. And then it moves to another position, right? So what will be the coordinate for the other position? If this is X naught, so this one will be? X. Okay, good. So this one will be Y. Am I right? Okay. Yeah. Okay. So the first step when you get a question, okay, related to motion of a projectile due to free flight motion, curvilinear, you need to identify the coordinates. So what is the coordinates? So this one will be 
x naught y naught this one will be x y okay understand okay. okay all right there will be some cases where the question they change a little bit some question can change whereby they make the coordinate like this so what do you think your x and y this one will be your x will be positive but your y will be negative because the origin is here do you understand why i said the coordinate for for the y is negative because it's below the origin understand yes okay all right and then this one will be positive this one will be positive so sometimes yeah. the, question, the question can change okay you yeah. need to okay because sometimes the question will change the position and usually students who uh doesn't score is because they don't realize that the uh the coordinate for the y for the initial coordinate for the y should be negative so sepatutnya yang uh, sepatutnya it will be x not negative y not ah uh, okay so you need to be alert where is the coordinate of your particle because it makes a difference understand okay good the other uh, thing that uh, selalu student careless is right now uh, i'm assuming um my first position is x not y not and my second position is x y there could be a question also whereby they do the coordinate like this they say that this is a this is b if this is a and this is b what will be coordinate a x, x not x not x not what x not a comma y not a a yeah so this will be the coordinate and this one will be x not uh, uh, sorry uh, this one will be b right but it will be simpler if you if you do not have to write the x not because you know already that it is x and you know already that is a and b so usually what you do is just write x a x b oh, sorry, sorry 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 i'm so sorry what did i do sorry x a y a x b y b understand understand yes yeah. okay understand yes, yes. okay because later uh you're going to um um uh, put in the equation and sometimes when you put in the equation you're confused which is x naught which is x a which is y b so those uh things can cause you to make careless mistakes but if you're fixed with uh one method one way of defining defining it then it should be fine Okay, all right. So hold on, Jack. Let me just send this one uh, text message to uh, my son's school bus driver. Hold on, hold on, just a second. Things. Okay. All right. Okay, so you understand that, eh? Okay, these are what you call, uh, I'm giving you tips. Tips for that you don't make mistakes, yeah? Okay, good. All right, now. So since uh, now we're back to the, our main diagram, eh? Okay, since um, I've told you before, the velocity should be tangent to the path. So I'm going to draw a tangent line to the path. Okay, oh, doesn't look that nice. Hold on, eh? Okay, so this one will be called V naught. Understand? Betul tak? Am I correct? Yes or no? Yes. Okay, now, since, yeah. we are, um, since we're doing uh, rectangular components, so whatever your equation, whatever your value, it must be in a rectangular component. So your V naught also needs to be what? Resolve. So your V naught will be resolved in V naught x 
and this one will be v not y same also as the final position so let's say this is your velocity tangent to the path so this one is the velocity so this one will be vx this one will be vy understand understand yeah same like this let's say this one will be va so what would this be Oops. so you need to resolve it will be va x va y okay all right okay now so when you resolve it uh it will give you an angle right sometimes in the question let's say this is your v naught and your component let's say this give you angle of 30 degrees so this will be what v naught what how do you find v naught x and how do you find v naught y how do you find that Sine or cos? V not x equals to V not cos or sine? Hello? Cos. cos. Ah, okay, cos. So you'll be V not cos 30 degrees. Okay, and then this one will be V not y, it will be V not sine 30 degrees. Okay, so you will find the answer lah. So sometimes also uh, the things that student makes mistake is sometimes they uh, they confuse which one is sine, which one is cos because sometimes the question they don't give the angle like in this diagram they might give the angle in a uh, uh, at a different place so sometimes student confuse uh, uh, the angle is given. Um, not according to the picture that I'm sharing, they might give the angle. They might give the angle here, or they might uh, give the angle uh, here. You know, and then when when student wants to resolve, they get confused which one is which one should be uh, which angle value they should use, and then the sine and cos will be wrong. Uh, okay, so these kind of careless mistakes we cannot accept eh? for you because you've taken static we know that you have uh, learned how to resolve uh, correctly so you need to resolve it correctly lah. okay boleh all right so that that should not happen eh? okay good all right so uh, so basically uh, the question of a motion of a projectile like this, it will be the same. Sometimes they ask you, what is the final velocity? What is the initial velocity? Or they ask you, what is the position of the uh, upper, of the object, the final position? What is the coordinate? So all this information, uh, they can ask you within this diagram. Lah. Okay, all right. So one more thing. There is an acceleration due to gravity. Yeah? Okay, and another thing, they, this question, they also can ask you what is R? Oops, not nice. Let me draw. They can ask you what is the R or they can ask you what is the distance from uh, this point to this point? Okay, they can, they can ask you many things, but it will be in the range of this diagram. Lah. Okay, all right. Do you understand? Is that fine? Are we okay? Yes. Okay. Because uh, this topic is actually among the easiest students like to do, but sometimes they they feel so confident that they can get the answer correct, but because of careless mistakes in identifying the variables, they get the answer wrong. Okay. So if you get this question, take the opportunity to get full mark. Okay. I want you to take the opportunity to get full mark. Am I okay? okay? All right, now. Okay. Now, since the acceleration is due to gravity, it means we have to use the formula for constant acceleration. Can you tell me the formula for constant acceleration? Do you remember? Remember, what is the formula for constant acceleration? Hello? B? 
V sama dengan V. Ah, okay. V not acceleration time. Ah, okay. Lagi S ikut tu. S not plus V not T plus one over two A C T square. Okay. When I ask you things, I need you to respond and I need you to know. Is when I when I ask you formula for concentration, I don't want you to be the one. Ha ha ha. What is that? What is that? I I don't know I don't know ah uh, okay that one means that you're not focusing in class eh so whatever questions I ask you you need to you need to be alert because it's very important because um um besides uh, answering understanding the calculation the fundamental is important because um uh, soon you will get a uh, questions um you will get an assessment objective okay. Uh, your assessment assignment will be in terms of objective questions and they will give a lot of questions like what is curvilinear motion, which one is true, which one is false, um, uh, 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 all answers are correct, we should accept which one, uh, please, uh, all these uh, uh, theory, theory questions will come out in your assessment, in your assignment. Okay, which is 10%. So, you punya fundamental needs to be very strong and you need to really understand what I am saying, okay? Uh, the definitions, everything, okay? Alright, so you need to read the slide notes given by the lecturer in Evans, eh? We have given you a slide notes. Go through it, all the terms and definition before you take your uh, quiz assessment, uh, not quiz, sorry, assignment. And then I'm sure you can score, alright? Okay, now. Back to here. Okay, now we're back here. Okay, so uh, we have to write the horizontal components. Oh, sorry, components. I mean horizontal motion. And we need to write the vertical motion using this formula. Yeah? Okay, now for the horizontal motion, what is the acceleration? What do you think the acceleration for horizontal motion is? Can you give me? What is the acceleration for vertical motion? What do you think the acceleration for horizontal motion is? Now. Hello. Now, should I call your names? Uh, Nur Nisa Irdina. Yeah. Okay, what is the horizontal, what is the acceleration for horizontal motion? Look at the diagram uh, above here. Is there any acceleration in horizontal, in x direction? No. So the acceleration is what? Zero. Zero, okay. For the vertical motion, what is the acceleration? Negative um, 9.81. Ah, yes. It's equal to G, which is negative 9.81. 81 meter per second squared. Okay, now, now we need to write down the equation for horizontal motion. Okay, thank you, Irina. Okay, so uh, when we write the equation, we need to write the equation. We are going to be based on this equation. Okay, so for horizontal motion, v x v will be what? V will be v x. Okay, v not will be what? V not X plus what? Plus ACT. But right now, our acceleration is what? Kosong. Zero. Zero. So, it means VX equals to V not X. Understand? Okay, good. So, that is your first equation. Lah. Okay. Second equation. S equals to what? <clears throat> now, S will be what? X. Am I right? S naught will be what? S naught akan jadi apa? X naught. Ah, X naught. Okay. Plus? Plus. V naught. V naught. T. E. Okay, and then since acceleration is zero, 
So we do need to write that. So we are left with this formula. Okay? All right, but you must bear in mind, you need to write down it properly. It will be V not what? V not X T. Okay? That's the correct way of writing it. Okay? If you do not write the X here, you might make a mistake. So you need to write V not in bracket X. Okay, last formula. Can you do it? It will be what? Vx squared. V yeah. not x squared. And then? And kosong. Kosong. Okay, plus zero, right? But yeah. then Vx squared, V not x squared is also equals to what? Vx, Vx. equals to V not x. Yes. So this is the third equation. So if you notice, first and third is the? Same. Same. Uh, so sometimes in the question, they can ask you, they can give you Vx, but they don't give you v not x, And then they ask you to find the initial velocity, but then you don't know how to find. But actually it's the same. Uh, so, so there are some tricks uh, that sometimes the question don't give, but you need to understand if, it, if they ask you the initial velocity in x direction, it means it's the same as Vx, okay? All right. So can you please do for me the vertical motion? I give you one minute. Do for me for the vertical motion. Uh, not one minute lah. I give you 30 seconds and then I want Kairunas to answer. Kairunas, are you here? Kairunas? Huh. Where is Kairunas? Is Kairunas in the chat? Where are you, Kairunas? Tarata. Okay, I'm taking note. Eh, Mish, uh, apa Kairunas? You're not answering me in this uh, class. You need to respond to me. Your reasons why you're not responding. Eh. Are you not joining this class? Okay, next person. Shazwani. Shazwani. Okay. Uh, Shazwani tak ada mic eh? Okay, never mind. Uh, siapa eh yang ada mic? Uh, Iqbal. Iqbal? Yeah. Okay, can you give me the answer? Okay, for vertical motion. So first what? V? V by? Uh, equals to? V not Y. Okay. Plus negative. Plus, teruslah negative. G. 9.1. Terus, uh -huh. uh, terus negative GT eh. Uh -huh. Okay, next one. Okay. Ikebal. Y equals to? Y, uh, y not. Yes. Plus. Uh, v not y. Yes. T. Yes. Minus. Minus one over two. Uh, one over two g. Uh, g lagi. T square. Uh. Last one. V y. V. -Y. v -Y. Mana the V not? V Y squared? V Y squared. squared. Uh-huh. V not Y squared lagi. Minus 2. Minus 2 G. Uh -huh. Y. 
Y minus Y net. Uh -huh. Okay, good. So this is your fourth, fifth, and sixth equation. Okay, don't get it wrong. Eh? Sometimes also students get this simple equation wrong and then uh, it's uh, harmful lah for your results, kan? Sayang, kan? We don't want that to happen, right? Dem. Yeah. Yang G2 terus ganti dengan negatif 981 boleh kan? Uh, boleh but uh, this one we're writing the equation dalam bentuk um, um, numbers ni lah Oh okay okay Boleh je yeah no problem Okay boleh je up to you Okay good alright okay um, uh, Our next class is when? Tomorrow what time? Uh, for 10 minutes till okay. 5. All right. Okay. Empat. Usually that class I selalu extend kan time. Tak apa. Can, can we just do one question together? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Copy eh. Okay, so Kairunas dia punya mic rosak eh tadi. Okay, Kairunas, uh, I understand your mic is having a problem. Okay. Alright, but last time I remember talking to you, you you didn't have the mic problem. <laughs> okay, I hope you're telling me the truth eh. Okay. Okay, I'm very worried eh, because some students, they are not online, they are working. I hope none of you are working. Eh? If you are working, um, i like you to be uh, frank with me and tell me the truth. Okay, I, I understand some students, they are working uh, and they are online, but actually they're not, they're not there. Okay, if this happened to my student, I would appreciate you to tell me the truth, eh? So I can plan something uh, better for you. Okay, it's okay, but I need I need to know. Okay, I'm not going to uh, do anything to you, but I want to find a solution to help you. Okay, all right. I don't want to know by the end of the semester this problem comes. Okay, all right. Okay, you need to uh, talk to your lecturer, talk to your PA if you have problems, okay? Okay, all right, now. Okay, uh, you've copied this. Okay, now I want you to copy this diagram, eh?
Okay. Uh, tell me if you have finished copying. Okay. Um, is Amir Fawaz here? Amir? Yes, yes. Ada, ada. Amir ni SMS tu ke? Bukan ya. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Amir mana ni? Uh, Amir Fawaz, that's Habib Salim. Have you finished copying? Saya tengok Luki, dia keren. Okay, let us know when you finish copying eh. Okay. Okay, while you all finish copy, let me color sikit sikit. Wah, lamanya? Dah habis. Habis dah? Haa. Uh. Okay, alright. The chipping machine, so ni chipping machine eh. This uh, chipping machine means it's, it uh, chips uh, per uh, uh, tree, tree. Apa, uh, I forgot to draw the tree. Ini pokok ah. So, apa, uh, the tree, tree trunks, the uh, go, goes in the chipping machine and then the, apa, make it small, small, small pieces lah. Okay, so uh, designed to eject wood chips at a velocity of, initial velocity V0 of 7.5 meter per second as shown in figure. Okay, now, if the tube is oriented at 30 degrees, so ni uh, 30 degrees eh. Okay, from the horizontal, uh, from the horizontal ni X lah. Determine how high H the chip strike the pile, so ni the pile lah. Okay, at this instance, they land on the pile six meter from the tube. Okay, how to answer this question? Okay, let's have a look at uh, the information that we have. Eh? Okay, now, first thing that you need to do is you need to resolve the V0 velocity into components. Remember, I've, I've taught you, you need to resolve. So, you need to resolve that first. So, this one, you need to resolve in V not x. And you need to resolve in V not Y. Okay. You must remember, yeah. Uh, maybe I forgot to tell you this. Uh, there's one thing very, the most important thing. Make sure for all dynamics question, you need to draw. The free body diagram marks is sometimes between three to five marks. If you do not draw, you will lose marks. Okay, so when I say draw the resolve components, draw. Okay, any dynamic question you need to draw. Draw, 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 draw. Because if you don't draw, you will lose marks. Draw the free body diagram. Okay, free body diagram needs to be drawn. Okay, a lot of marks is there. Okay, because sometimes if your solution is incorrect, but you draw the free body diagram, you get marks. Okay, so take the opportunity. Yeah? Okay, so now you need to resolve the components. So you need to resolve v not x and v not y. Okay, so draw this. So when you draw the, you resolve the components. What is v not x? V not x will be equal to what? Who should I ask? Huh? V not x. Uh, Christine Valerie. Christine Valerie, V not X equals to what? 
Christine Valerie? Ada, madam. Ah, berapa? V not X equals to 7.5 what? Cos or sin? Cos. Cos 30. So what do you get? Seven point five cost thirty is what? One point five and one point one six. Huh? <laughs> Seven point five cost thirty equals to? Are you using a correct calculator, my dear? Six point five. Huh. Six. What happened? Is your calculator correct? Mungkin salah. Ha, macam mana boleh calculator salah? Ha? Okay. Now, last chance. V not Y. 7.5 sine 30. Make sure your calculator is correct now. What is it? You see, this is what I'm worried. Sometimes some, but some things are very easy. You should score. But because you made a uh, wrong in typing, in calculating simple things, you lose marks. Okay, come on, Christine. What is 7.5 sin 30? Christine? Yes, madam. What uh, is it? Negative 7.4. <laughs> Salah lagi. Are you, <laughs> what happened? What kind of calculator are you using? Are you using your handphone? No, no. Using calculator. Then? Mm. Huh? What happened? Mm, mungkin salah. Uh, calculator tu salah ke apa? Saya salah key in mungkin, madam. Well, boleh tak you key in sampai you dapat betul? I'm very worried. If you, if the technique in, I know sometimes there, there is a calculator yang canggih sikit kan. If you don't calculate it properly, then Everything will be wrong. Okay, come on. Christine, what happened to your calculator? Rosak ke? 7.5 sin 30. It's good that we notice now that you have something wrong with your calculator. Christine, are you okay, Christine? Can you tell me what is your problem? Um, tertinggal uh, degree, madam. Okay, so 7.5 sin 30 berapa? Um, 3.75. Ah, okay, alright. So tertinggal, okay. Please don't uh, worry me like that again, eh? Okay, so Christy, you have to make sure that your calculator is in perfect condition before your test. Okay? Okay. All right. Okay, now. Okay, you have resolved that. Okay, now. Okay, what? Uh, okay, let's have a look. What is the question they ask you to find? They ask you to determine how high H is. So how are you going to determine that? H. So this is the, the question they ask you to find. H. Okay, now, maybe you can write what is the coordinate first. Okay, what is the coordinate for for, for point, uh, the origin? What do you think the coordinate is? This one. What is the coordinate? Eh, tak, tak tahu dah koordinat tu. Kosong, kosong. Yes. So, this is V not what? Yes. Okay. So, so V not pula koordinat kan? <laughs> so, the coordinate is zero? Zero. Okay. What is the coordinate for point A? Uh, we don't know. <laughs> tak tahu langsung ke? Uh, 6, 12. Oh, 6. ada pula 6. 6, Six. negative 12. Yes, negative. 12. 12. Okay. Alright, good. You know that that is the coordinate, right? 
Okay, all right. That is for coordinate point A, right? But right now, what does it want? H. Ah, uh, how are you gonna get H? Sorry, let me draw this properly. Kalau guna formula V. You should need that. Let me draw this. Okay. Now, six and negative twelve. Okay, can you you do you notice your H is inside the twelve? Yes. Okay, so how are you going to? Uh, uh, um, um, are you sure that this is the coordinate six negative twelve? Yeah. <laughs> okay, my dear, tengok eh, coordinate point A ni, okay, the X is correct, is 6. But are you sure the Y is 12? The Y, 12 is here, at the bottom here. This is 12. This height is 12. This is negative 12. At point A, what is Y? This is wrong. This is not 12. What is this height? This height. What is this height? Okay, this height is 12 meters. But what is this height? No 12 minus h. 12 minus h. 12 minus h ke? 12 minus h. Okay, yes. 12 minus h, okay. Okay, which one is correct? 12 minus h or negative 12 minus h? Which one is correct? Negative, negative. 12. Which, okay, or, uh, I don't know. Uh, uh, okay, uh, yang mana betul? Yang star or the two stars? Two stars. Two stars, two stars okay. Yeah. So, so you, can, you can write it as h minus 12 lah. Is this the same thing? Is it the same thing? Yes. Okay. All right. Good. So can you? So, uh, Sapa, who 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 doesn't understand? Okay. Do you understand now? Yes. Okay. All right. Please add. Uh, this is uh, the thing that will cause you to make mistakes. So our point A is six comma h minus 12 okay now so sometimes in the question they ask you to find h but it's uh you what you need to do is you need to make sure your unknown is inside the the equation that you want to put lah so your unknown h we put inside the coordinate system of point a okay so don't make that mistake again eh? okay all right so uh, uh this is not right this is correct eh? okay all right okay now okay how are we going to solve this okay so uh what other information you have okay let's look at the okay what other information you have we we know that our 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 uh, uh what other information you have and uh, what equation you want to use to solve this problem? Huh? Tolong decide. You need to think. Okay, maybe I need to make it a bit smaller. Oops, too small. Okay. All right. Alamak, tak boleh. Okay. All right. So, what other uh, information you have? Acceleration. Uh huh. Negative. Nine point eight one. Okay, that's fine. Okay. You, so you have acceleration negative nine point eight one. And one more. What do you have? Okay. How are you going? Okay. First, you need to decide which equation you want to use, right? Yeah. Okay. Which equation you want to use that involves this coordinate? Which equation you want to use? V equals V naught acceleration time. Okay. Which one? Time 
or time together. Ah, uh, you don't have the time. So yeah. maybe you need to find the time first. Okay, but before you want to find the time, which equation that you can use? You can use equation. Now, the equation that has H is the vertical you, uh, that has H minus 12. It means you need to use the formula in the vertical motion. Okay, that's how you decide. Okay, because you need to find H, okay, because you need to find H, H is in the vertical motion, right? Okay, so look at the vertical motion that has H. You can either use formula what? Formula 5 or formula 6. Am I right? Do you understand? Yes. Formula yes. 5 or formula 6. So let's say I say use formula 5. Okay. Y equals to Y naught plus V naught. That's how you decide. Okay. You want to solve the problem. You need to think which formula you want to use. Since you want to find H, you need to use that formula. So what would be Y be? Oh, sorry. What, what is our Y? What is our Y? Negative 12. Huh? What is our Y? Okay, now. Okay. This, this is our main formula right guys this is our main formula but now you have to decide okay are you going to use this formula for the initial position or y a this is going to be y what y a am i right yeah why, a. why not so this is why uh so that's why that's why when you answer 12 is wrong That's why that's why I told you to write y will be y a now. So what is our y a? H minus twelve. Ah, h minus twelve. What is our y not? Zero. 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 Ah, yes, yeah, zero. What is our v not y? 3.75 yes 3.75 okay you do not have t okay minus 1 over 2 9.81 9 t squared okay which now we still cannot solve the problem because we have two unknowns so maybe we need to solve t first okay how are we going to solve t okay what information you have there is one extra information you have here remember 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 in this table, Vx equals to V not X? Vx equals to V not X. So what does that mean? Do you have V not X? So when Vx equals to V not X, our Vx is actually what? It's actually VA. Am I right? The same. Ah, okay. You must understand that. Eh? For this question, the coordinates, uh, coordinate is the origin at 2.8. It's not, it's not A to B. It's from the origin to point A. So, Vx equals to Va actually. So, what is our, uh, since V not X is, uh, right, 6.5 meter per second. So, what do you think Va is? What do you think VA will be? 6.5. Ah, 6.5 6 also. Yes. Understand? Okay. So you must understand. Right now, our coordinate is from the origin to point A. It's not A to B. Okay. Origin to point A. Okay. So that's why VX, we can replace as VA. And that's why this Y, we replace as YA. Okay. All right, so good. So now, do you think you can find T? Which formula you want to use to find T? Hmm? There are one, two, three, four, five, six formulas here, the horizontal motion and vertical motion. Which formula that you want to use to find T? 
Formula 2. Hmm? Ah, yes, Formula 2. Okay, let's look at Formula 2. Formula 2 is X equals to X0 plus V0 XT. But your X will be what? XA equals to X0 plus V0 XT. So your XA, what is your XA? What is your XA? Six. 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 Yes, six. six. Okay, understand it? Yes, yeah, six. And what is your X not? Zero. Zero. Okay. What is your V not X? 6.5. Yes, yeah, 6.5. And then multiply by T. So can you find me what is T? Kosong point sembilan dua tiga. Seconds eh. So put the T into this. Uh, yes, put the T into this equation. Okay, put T equals to zero point nine two three seconds. And find me what is H. So what is H? What is the answer? Sepuluh point sembilan tiga. Hah? Berapa? Berapa? Sepuluh kos sembilan tiga, betul ya? Hmm, tak, tak betul ya. Eh, sebelas poin dua lapan. Ha, sebelas poin dua lapan. Tak. Sekejap. Ya. Okay, please eh, you are very worrying me eh. Your calculators need to be service eh. Or you need to service yourself, eh? <laughs> okay, this uh, using the calculator and making the careless mistake is unacceptable, eh? Eight point seven. Hmm. Eight point seven. Hahaha. Sana. Hmm. Oh, I'm so sorry. Saya yang salah. Um. Ni apa? Ah, uh, bukan dua belas. <laughs> apa? Ah, uh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Ah, uh, one point two. Tolong oh. tukar. Oh, sorry, 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 sorry. Okay, okay. Tukar 1.2. I'm so sorry. I yang apa, salah bagi uh, information. 1.2 meter. Sorry, 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 sorry. 1.2 eh. 1.2. Minta maaf. 1.2, 1.2. Tolong tukar semua. Yang ada 12, uh, those value yang have 12, please change to 1.2 meters. Okay, now calculate again. Okay, saja. Okay, I need to service my eyes. Sorry, eh. Uh, you tak payah service your calculator. You don't have to service yourself. I have to service my eyes. Okay. So, what is the answer? Sorry, eh. Jangan uh, nangis, jangan marah, eh. Okay. What is the answer? 
0.48 kami doon. Ah, yes, betul. 0. 0.48. 48 what? Meter. 3. Ada 3 tak? Um, 4, eh, 483. Okay, meter. Yes, that is correct. That is the answer. Okay, correct. Good. Okay. Okay, good. Okay. Now, if you notice just now, we try to find T by by finding V O X. Okay, do you think we can find V O Y? Let's say I ask you another question to find V O Y. How are we going to find V O Y? Uh, sorry, V O Y pula, V O Y pula. Uh, v A Y. Hmm. Let I ask, let's say I ask you uh, to find VAY. How are you going to find VAY? Which formula you want to use? I'm adding extra question here. Let's say I ask you to find VAY. Which formula you want to use? One, two, three, oh. or four, four, or five, or six. Ah, oh. four, you formula. can. Four. Oh. Yeah. Okay, good. All right. So you understand that? Eh? Okay. All right. Okay. So <clears throat> now, actually, this question uh, is not difficult, but with uh, a lot of practice uh, with related questions, I'm sure you can, uh, uh, you will prevent from making careless mistakes and uh, you can answer it very well. Lah. So, okay, guys, uh, is there any questions related to this? I don't know. I'm going to Ah, okay. Uh, maybe Boleh. zoom out tak? Macam mana? Tak kecil sangat ke? Isn't it too small? Okay. Oops. Eh, lagi tak tadi tadi? Macam tadi tadi. tadi. Sekejap. Okay, okay. because I... Oops. Dekat ni. Dekat ni. Ah, okay. Alright. Okay, because I'm not using uh, a mouse. So, it's a bit difficult. <laughs> Okay, so uh, just now, today, what we did today is we learned about uh, apa, curvilinear motion whereby we want to solve the curvilinear motion using rectangular components. Okay, so maybe next class kita can focus on non-rectangular components lah. Okay, but I want to advise you, please don't rely on one example that we did in class and then that's the end. Okay, it's not enough for you, eh? You need to try variety examples. And when you want to try the examples, please, 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 please do it yourself. Don't look at the solution. Because the moment you look at the solution, you're not thinking. And then when you go to the test, the assessment, assignment, you are unable to do it uh, because you rely on the solution. Okay, please. That's why uh, I like to explain one example very slowly, thoroughly with you. But once you understand one example very well, you should be able to complete the other questions. Okay, uh, if you're given any other questions after this, you understand the concept, you understand the fundamental, you can do it. Okay, all right. That's all. Okay, any other questions before we stop our class today? Anything you would like to ask? Okay, please uh, correct, yeah, 1.2 meter. Okay. All right. Any other question before we can stop this uh, class and stop the recording? Hello? No? Yeah, madam. Da. Okay, all right. So I can... Belum? Belum. Belum. Okay. You Japan. Okay. Thank you. 
Okay. Okay, so no other questions. Very good. Okay, please do not rely 100% on uh, just one example with me in class, okay? It requires an effort of trying other examples as well. Eh? And to prepare yourself with the assessment, uh, I mean, uh, you are the assessment uh, assignment one and two, objectives kind, questions kind. Uh, a, a little bit of reading of the theory will be good and helpful for you, okay? Uh, right? Because even though the questions are objective, kita, we want all objective to be correct, okay? Okay, that's all. Okay, all right. Thank you, class. Uh, if there's nothing else, I will stop this class and I will share the recording. Anything else? Okay. Okay. All right. I will stop recording now. Okay. I will see you tomorrow.